Hello my peeps. I did another experiment last week and I thought I'd do a video about it. I may even write about it later on, but I'm doing the video first. I decided to take a week break from social media. Now, I've kind of done this before, but with a difference. In the past, when I've decided I'm taking a week away, I still posted everything. So I pre-posted everything on Twitter. I pre-posted articles and videos to go live on Facebook and on LinkedIn back in the day when I was still on Google+. So no one actually ever knew I was gone. I just wasn't there. If anyone wrote me, I wasn't going to respond. This time, I decided to do it differently. And I actually did it for two reasons. But first, I'm going to tell you what I did different. I didn't pre-post anything. The last thing that posted from me was 1.45 in the morning on Monday because it fit my flow of how I normally you know, set up my marketing. And then from that point on, nothing until the following Monday. Didn't post anything. Now, I got back on Twitter and social media and everything else around noon on Sunday because I had some things I wanted to do. So basically, you could say it was... Uh, basically 12 hours shy of a full seven days. But I didn't go anywhere else. I didn't do anything really social media uh, related. And I say that because on Friday, I decided to look at Instagram. And Instagram, I've never really considered that as social media. You, you know, you can't really talk to anybody. You can see pictures that you like. Someone may comment, but I didn't never I never really think of Instagram that way. I know there are people who say you can use Instagram for marketing, but I've never done it. Not gonna say I'm never going to do it, but I just can't conceive of it. So I did that. I still went on sites where I play email chess or online chess. I did that. Um, there's this one game that I play called Empire Cred, which is kind of a stock market game uh, for social media. But I just play it like stock market. I don't know why. I'm just numbers obsessed. So I had those kinds of things, but I didn't look at anything social media related. I still wrote because this was part two of the thing. First one, I wanted to see if anyone would notice I wasn't around. On the second one, I wanted to see, okay, if I'm not looking at social media, what exactly am I going to do? Because I think I spend... A fair amount of time looking at social media you know I check in and then I go away I check in and I go away um, but I don't just sit there on social media but I, I said okay if I don't have to worry about checking in on social media will I get more things done well that was a yes and no <laughs> I didn't get done what I was hoping to get done I still wrote blog posts I wrote three blog posts I put them out but I didn't promote them at all so I did that. I did two videos. Did a video for this channel and one for my business channel. Didn't promote them. I did a few other things, but it was more of my still trying to catch up with my computer issues. I'm not going to get deep into talking about how I lost all my stuff with my computer. I'm now in the recovery mode. I finally signed up with an organization called iDrive where my stuff is being backed up to the cloud every single night. I have been worried about the cloud for years. You know what? I'm an older guy. I almost hate to admit this, but you know what? I'm going to be 60 next year. So I'm an older guy, even though I've been into technology. And I've just never really trusted the cloud. I have Dropbox, but I only have 5 gigs. And that's it. So I don't put hardly anything really special in there. I use Evernote so I can connect to one other source. I have it on my computer and my phone. But, you know, just a couple of notes here and there. I don't fully trust it, but I needed to start backing my stuff up. It was catastrophic. So I did that. And I've still been adding more software to, you know, my computer. I finally loaded my Dragon program. And now we're fighting a little bit. It's always something. Uh, at some point, I will finish putting my computer back together because I'm just running it to make sure that nothing's going to crash on me again. So... I basically spent time recovering on that. I got a few things done around the house. I got to take more care of mom. I didn't watch any movies with her because it's hard watching movies with my mother. That's all I'm going to say. If you don't know any stories about my mother, then this is going to mean nothing to you. But 
I did that. And I didn't really feel like I accomplished as much. Uh, I had wondered if I was going to do any marketing, but since I wasn't going to get on social media, I wasn't going to do it that way. So my thought was, well, I'll do traditional marketing. I, maybe I'll make some phone calls or I'll send some letters. Only I realized that all my email letters, all my letters on my computer were wiped out. So I basically have to rewrite everything. I have to start from scratch. And I hate that. Because I think I had written some pretty good stuff, but it's all gone. So that paralyzed me a little bit. So it was really odd. So anyway, I came back on Sunday. And it wasn't until probably late Sunday or Monday where someone said, Hey, I wonder where you had been. And no one noticed on Facebook. No one noticed on LinkedIn. Up to this point, three people noticed that I disappeared on Twitter, but no one said anything. And it's interesting because I had noticed a friend of mine had disappeared, and it wasn't until I saw that he'd written a blog post about it that I mentioned, hey, I wondered where you went. And he said, well, you're the only one. No one else ever said anything. And it was basically what he did that inspired me to do this. And I said, well, that's interesting. So... My niece asked me, she was um, number two on the list to notice that I was gone, and she said what happened, and, and so I decided to send her an email. So I sent her the email, telling her everything that happened in my experiment, and she said, and I thought it was very interesting, she said that she has sometimes disappeared for a couple of days here and there, and then people will, you know, basically not say anything except for her mother and her sister, wondering, hey, is everything okay? And it's not until she starts posting again that people will suddenly say, oh, I was wondering where you were. I hope everything's been okay. And that's an interesting trend. I don't really know what to say to that. If that's really how it is, I mean, I did it to someone. Maybe that's really how things go. I mean, maybe if you die tomorrow and you're gone for a month, no one's ever going to say anything because they're thinking, okay, he's off pouting somewhere or <laughs> doing some work. Um, but if you are gone for a little bit and then you come back, People may notice and say, hey, where have you been? That's strange. Isn't that a little strange? I don't know. What do you do about that? What do you guys think? Is that strange? What do you think about my, my little experiment? I'm probably going to do part of this again, but not as an experiment. I think that since no one noticed on Facebook that I had gone and no one sent me a message and no one noticed anywhere else, I think I need to say to myself, you know what? You need to take more time to get your business going again and you know get advertising and reach out to other people because you know the folks on social media are gonna be there go ahead and post your stuff post your advertising stuff you know your marketing do all that but don't check in as often when you go back you're gonna find out that almost no one is saying anything um, there is a little difference on Twitter I do have people who will share my stuff and sometimes they will respond to stuff that I've shared so that will be different. But it almost never happens on LinkedIn. It almost never happens on Facebook. But it was interesting. Now, did I miss it? Yeah, I did miss it a little. I noticed a few times where I was getting ready to click on something and said, oh, no, 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 wait, nope, this is the week that we're staying away from social media. So don't open that Twitter thing and don't go to Facebook. LinkedIn, yeah. <laughs> Only when I thought about marketing did I think about LinkedIn. Weird. So, my question to you, have you tried any kind of experiments like this? What has your experience been if you've tried it? And if you haven't, are you thinking about trying it? I know some people who have said, I'm getting off social media, I'm done, who have come back. But this is a different thing. Have you done it as an experiment? Let me know. My name is Mitch Mitchell. I hope you all have a wonderful day.